Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss about how to convert a string to double in thesaur.net. So add here we can uh, do it by three ways. So first uh, here, so uh, we can uh, convert a string to uh, double with the help of uh, to double, convert or to double method. So convert is the class and to double is the method. So about the to double, so convert a specified a string representation of a number equivalent double precision. So it is used to convert a string to double. Okay, so here you can see this is uh, right now. If you take the cursor at this place, here you can see this is the a string. And uh, since this is in double code, so that it's uh, coming at here a string. Now if I uh, execute or run the program and here you can see the output. So here get type method so it get to uh, about the data type. So here you can see this uh, 56.9 now it's uh, converting to double. Now at this place I included get type method. So with the help of get type so it uh, uh, display get the type of current instance. So current instance here this is the or uh, double so that here it's uh, displaying system dot double. So this is the first way we can uh, convert this double into in double into sorry a string into double. Now hereafter I am going to make that comment and uh, let's uncomment. So here this so uh, time going to use or uh, double and here parse method. So S is the here this is a string value initialized with 45 and here you can see this the double and here S that I pass 45 so after a parsing method it's now converted into double and store into D and here after that going to display the value of D. So here I am going to uh, display the value and uh, checking the type. So let's uh, run this uh, code and here you can see a string is now here you can okay I used to uh, uh, get type twice times so here I am going to remove this get type. Now here after run this code once again and here you can see uh, 45. So here D is now uh, double. So uh, this S value is now 45 after applying double dot parse method. So it's converting converting into double and store into D. And uh, D uh, type here you can see double. So this is the second way we can uh, convert double in uh, a string into double. Now here after uh, we can convert a string into double by using try parse method. So with the help of try parse we can uh, easily handle any kind of exception. If the exception came then that place that uh, return zero. So let's uh, run this code first and check the output. So here you can see S1, 10, S2, 20 double n1 and n2 now here try parse so after converting to double 10 and 20 it's a display now s is so here a string and n1 is the double okay so here 10 20 come to uh, n1 and n2 it's a displaying n1 and n2 value so n1 n2 is the double n1 is the double and 0 1 is the placeholder Okay, so here if you take the cursor on try parse, so here this uh, bool that uh, return double and here this is the uh, string and all double. So incoming a uh, string and outgoing double and here convert a string representation of a number, it's a double precision. If you take uh, integer then that uh, display integer precision but uh, I taken double so that here double precision floating point equivalent okay try parse but if user give anything uh, wrong 
number so what happened this uh, definitely uh, uh, exception generated so here is in place of exception that uh, or display zero okay so here if you run then you can see or uh, zero it's a uh, displaying in place of exception so here this is the way we can convert or uh, this is string into double in csr.net okay so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you